When it comes to losing fat and gaining muscles at the same time, a lot of people think it's impossible. Why? Because it usually is difficult to achieve this common fitness goal. And many people tend to give up before they even get started. But what if we told you that with the right strategies and balanced approach, you will not only lose weight and build muscle at the same time, but doing this will feel less than a chore to you. And before you know it, you will get the results you desire. In this video, we'll be sharing ways you can simultaneously lose fat and build muscle in simple steps. All you have to do is stick around till the end of this video to learn these steps that will not only transform your body, but also your life as a whole. Are you ready to find out what they are? Let's get started. Number one, set realistic and specific goals. Imagine going on a road trip with no destination in mind. You'll probably end up anywhere, won't you? The same applies to setting realistic and specific goals for your fat loss and muscle gain journey. You should know that before embarking on any fitness journey, it's essential to establish realistic and specific goals. By doing this, you will determine your target weight and the amount of muscle you want to gain. Don't just say, I want to lose fat and gain more muscle. Be more specific about how you plan to do that because having a clear vision will help you stay focused and motivated throughout the process. Number two, calorie balance, create a moderate caloric deficit. It makes sense to consume fewer calories than you burn in your fat loss and muscle gain journey, doesn't it? To ensure that you lose fat, you need to consume fewer calories than you burn, thereby creating a caloric deficit. However, it's vital that you do this in a balanced way. Always keep in mind that extreme calorie restriction can hinder muscle growth and leave you feeling fatigued. So the best thing for you to do is to aim for a moderate caloric deficit of 300 to 500 calories per day to promote fat loss while providing your body with sufficient energy for muscle building. Also, if possible, you can get a recommendation from your doctor and try not to go below your doctor's recommendation. Number three, consume adequate protein. By now, you already know how important protein is in your muscle building journey. Protein is the building blocks of muscles, and it plays a vital role in repairing and building lean tissue. For your muscles to gain weight, you need to increase your protein intake to support muscle growth while losing fat. Try as much as you can consume high quality sources of protein, such as lean meats, fish, eggs, legumes, and dairy products. Aim for approximately 1.2 to 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. Number four, resistance training. Incorporating resistance training into your fitness routine is a great way to build and gain muscle. When you engage in strength training exercises like weightlifting, bodyweight exercises, or using resistance bands, you will stimulate muscle growth and increase metabolism. To increase your muscle growth, it's advisable to focus more on compound exercises that work multiple muscle groups simultaneously, such as squats, deadlifts, bench presses, and pull-ups. This way, you don't focus on building one muscle group at a time. Number five, cardiovascular exercise. Doing cardiovascular exercise is very important in your fat loss journey because you won't only burn calories by doing this kind of exercise, but you will also promote your overall health. You can start by doing moderate intensity cardio sessions such as jogging, cycling, or swimming for 150 to 300 minutes per week. Then from there, you can go to high intensity interval training, HIT, to maximize fat burning while preserving muscle mass. Number six, prioritize recovery. Do you ever wonder why health experts keep insisting on the importance of rest after performing rigorous exercise? I'll tell you, rest is not just important for the body as a whole, but it's one of the necessities to get the kind of results you're looking for. Allowing your body enough time to rest and recover is essential for muscle growth and preventing injuries. Aim for seven to eight hours of quality sleep each night. Also, do not fail to incorporate rest days into your training schedule to give your muscles time to repair and rebuild. Additionally, consider incorporating techniques such as stretching, foam rolling, and massage to promote muscle recovery. Number seven, monitor progress and adjust accordingly. One way to know if you're actually making progress on your fat loss and muscle gain journey is by tracking your progress. Regularly tracking your progress to assess if you're on the right track will help you see how much progress you have made and where you're stuck. So you know how to help yourself. It's imperative that you monitor changes in body weight, body measurements, and strength levels. Then you should adjust your nutrition and training plan accordingly, based on your results. Remember, progress may not always be linear, but consistency is key, and with time, you will see the results you desire. Number eight, stay hydrated and eat nutrient-dense foods. Hydration is essential for overall health and can aid in fat loss and muscle recovery. 
It's essential that you drink plenty of water throughout the day to stay properly hydrated. Additionally, focus on consuming nutrient-dense foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats. These foods provide essential vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants to support your body's needs during weight loss and muscle building. In addition to everything we have said, one of the things you should always have in mind is that building muscle and burning fat is not just about calories. Let's explain better. Muscle protein synthesis, or MPS, and muscle protein breakdown co-occur 24-7 from before birth until the day you die. Muscle protein synthesis minus muscle protein breakdown equals muscle protein balance, or just protein balance for short. This is to say when your muscle protein synthesis exceeds your muscle protein breakdown, you are in a positive protein balance, and your muscle mass increases. When breakdown exceeds synthesis, you enter a state of negative protein balance, leading to a loss of muscle mass. The most significant way to stimulate muscle protein synthesis is by hitting the weights. Strength training increases MPS significantly for up to 24 hours. That increase is not dependent on calories. Instead, all that's required to build muscle after a workout is amino acids, the building blocks for your muscle cells you get from eating protein. Doing all of this might sound very easy to do, but in reality it isn't. Starting can be quite easy, but remaining consistent is where the challenge lies. One of the questions most people ask is, what's the best way to train to build muscle and lose fat at the same time? It's simple, the best way to train to build muscle and lose fat simultaneously is the same way you'd train for muscle building at any other time. The main difference is that your ability to recover from high intensity physical activity during a calorie deficit diminishes. There is no standard protocol for body recomposition training, but the following guidelines make for an approach that will make things easier for you. Perform 10 to 20 total sets per muscle group per week. That's the optimal training volume to maximize muscle hypertrophy according to up-to-date research. The greater your training experience, the more training volume you need, while beginners and intermediaries will likely thrive on lower end of that rep range. Include both compound exercises and isolation movements in your workouts. Compound exercises like the bench press and the squat are time effective and make for a good foundation in any workout split, while isolation work lets you focus on individual muscle groups. Free weights or machines are mostly a matter of personal preference. Perform 6 to 15 reps per set while you build muscle with both lower and higher reps. A moderate rep range is the perfect balance for most lifters. You avoid the injury potential of very heavy weights and the discomfort of high rep training to failure. Losing fat and gaining muscle at the same time requires a well-rounded approach that combines proper nutrition, strength training, cardiovascular exercise, and ample rest. By setting realistic goals following a moderate calorie deficit, prioritizing protein intake, and incorporating regular exercise, you can achieve both objectives and transform your body composition. Remember that the journey to losing fat and gaining muscle is a process that requires patience, consistency, and dedication. It's important to listen to your body, make adjustments when necessary, and celebrate the small victories along the way. With the right mindset and a balanced approach, you can achieve your fitness goals and create a healthier, stronger, and more confident version of yourself. Stay committed, stay consistent, and enjoy the transformative journey to a better you. Did you learn anything new in this video? Please like, share, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.